Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Madova Marketing Podcast. Let's do shots. Let's start by thinking about your morning routine for a minute. You wake up and while brushing your teeth or making your breakfast, you ask Siri or Alexa to read out the news to you. Maybe you also ask Siri or Alexa to call you an Uber for work. While you are on your way to work, you listen to your favorite morning podcast to keep you company in that annoying traffic. You reach work, put your headphones on and listen to your Spotify playlist curated for work. It's not even noon and you've already consumed more audio content than you did ever before. So, what is the fuss around audio content in 2020? That's exactly what we'll be talking about today. So, let's do shots. If you ask a friend who works in fashion, they'll tell you that whatever was once old can all of a sudden become a rage today. Bell bottoms were a thing of the 70s, but it made a comeback in the 2000s. Is this true for audio content as well? Has audio made a comeback in 2020? The answer to that is both yes and no. Yes, because, well, it has. And no, because it has come back in a totally new modern after. Podcasts, smart speakers, audiobooks, voice searches, music playlists that know know your mood better than you. The audio realm is wider than ever. And there's a bunch of reasons why audio is big, it's getting bigger, and this time it's also here to stay. Think about it. Audio actually makes your life easier. And isn't that what every tech innovation is really all about? Back in the day, boomers used to read encyclopedias. As time moved on, millennials typed on a keyboard to Google things. What's Gen Z doing today? They're just asking the question out loud. That's it. And Siri and Alexa are going to answer back in audio. Audio also invokes a strong emotional connect, making it that much more powerful and personal. Think about it. When you go through a breakup, you resort to music to get through it. When you want to feel motivated, or perhaps when you're exercising, you always go back to that one song that gets your adrenaline pumping. Audio invokes a true emotional response. And that is exactly why when brands use audio, the audience connects with it. Think about jingles. You still remember them from 20 years ago, word for word. Those jingles were some of the strongest brand connects ever made. Think about the Intel Insight sound. You heard that and straight away recognized the brand. Audio also forces our fickle minds to pay more attention. When you listen to a podcast or an audiobook, you're giving your full attention to that source of sound. Compare this to watching television or coming across an influencer's post on Instagram. You consume that content passively. And lastly, producing audio content is also much cheaper. And when you combine the power of data and analytics over audio content, the possibilities are endless. Imagine if Amazon and Spotify got into a partnership. Spotify identifies the kind of music you love and Amazon plays that music for you while you shop. Or let's take it offline. Imagine you enter a store and your favorite song starts playing. There's a lot that can happen with personalization using audio. Also vernacular. The new internet users won't necessarily speak English. Vernacular audio can make adoption so much faster. A lot of this is still far away. But audio is definitely going to be a big medium. And if you haven't caught on to it yet, you're missing out. No, not you. You just consumed this piece of audio content. Thanks for listening. Until next time, let's do shots. 